all about the milk. In fact, it's the milk that gives Hershey's chocolate its unique taste. And who better to tell you all about it than our official welcoming committee? <laughs> As you'll see, it's all about the milk. Say hi, Zach. That's just the usual William. <laughs> oh, dude, stop shaking the thing. Oh, Gina, by the way, if you're watching this, I'm currently texting you right now. Should I try to bounce it off the wall and see if it comes back? Yeah. Well, girls, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's true that milk is an important part of the process. But let's start at the beginning. Here at the Hershey factory. Stop being gay. Tropical areas all over the world. Are they real? No, they're fake. I'm talking about Facebook. The beans are sorted as computers supervise the process. Yeah, they are cooking with the cleaning machine. Why will I get in trouble? Is this like something you're not supposed to do? That real stuff. All the foreign matter are carefully removed. Hershey's quality standards are of utmost importance to us. And only after the beans are cleaned and screened oh, are they sent on to our blending machines. Cocoa beans have different flavors depending on where they're grown. And blending machines, such as those on the left, combine beans from various countries in just the right proportions to maintain a unique Hershey's flavor. No, With the beans blended, they're then sent in hand to be roasted in large revolving roasters like this one. The roasted cocoa beans are then ready to move on to the next stage of the process. A process that will begin to transform plain cocoa beans into Hershey's milk chocolate. It begins right up ahead with a process known as breaking. Maybe, yeah, with the beans now roasted, they arrive here at the breaking chamber where the shells are shattered into tiny fragments. What's left is called the nib, the part of the bean actually used to make chocolate. The nibs now pass through milling machines, as seen on the left. This grinding process generates extreme heat, which melts the nib into a liquid called chocolate liquor. Of course, this liquid has no alcohol content. This is the liquid from which all chocolate is made. Well, I wish I had alcohol. Next, this large press machine is used to squeeze cocoa butter from the chocolate liquor. This cocoa butter will be added back later in the process to make the chocolate smooth and creamy. Well, now we come to that all-important element, milk. And who better to tell us about it than the experts themselves? chocolate-making process. Here, milk, sugar, and chocolate liquor are brought together and mixed in just the right proportions to create that special Hershey's taste. As the milk and sugar is combined with cocoa, it's mixed together until it becomes a smooth blend of milk chocolate. But we're not done yet. From here, the liquid chocolate leaves the large containers in this chamber, where it will be dried once again. Yes, that's right. This liquid mixture is now conveyed to dryers, such as the one you see on your left. The dryer removes excess moisture, well, which is. results in chocolate yeah, crop. The machine up ahead adds cocoa butter into the mix, which transforms it into a smooth chocolate paste, ready for refining. Mm -hmm. What's that wonderful smell? That's right. After all that shaking, great oh, look at all that fattening flavor, chocolate. They're finally coming up with Hershey's milk chocolate. Okay, well, but there's still a ways to go before it's finished. On your left is a series of roll refining machines. The refining process grinds the chocolate until it reaches a uniform and smooth consistency. Next, as seen on your left, 
the chocolate is further refined by a unique process called crunching. These heavy rollers refine the chocolate for up to 72 hours until it reaches a silky, liquid texture. The material that leaves the crunching process is called chocolate picks. These machines supply production lines with over 1 million pounds of chocolate paste per day. Yeah, you steer it from me, Zach. Now, now, after all that effort, we're finally ready to make a Hershey's wow. chocolate bar. And it's more peppermint. Here on your right, chocolate bars are leaving the molding line. They're then cooled and removed from the molds. The final step before being wrapped. Our milk chocolate made to perfection, we then add peanuts, almonds, and other extras to create a world of wonderful chocolate treats. Here you see the completely automated wrapping machine. 